In this tutorial, you will learn Operations Toolbar. Operations Toolbars are used once you create some geometries. So, let us first create a couple of geometries here and then let me first apply the corner. To apply the corner, click on the corner tool and click on two of the edges. And once you click, then you can see the options. Just make sure that your sketch tools is open here. And more about the sketch tools will be explained in the upcoming tutorials. But as of now, the sketch tools shows you contextual menus and contextual options when you uh, try to use different options in the operations toolbar. So once I click here, I haven't uh, confirmed it. So we have an option to uh, confirm the radius and the different uh, trim option. So usually we use the trim all elements option. So if you click and confirm this, you can see that a radius is being applied and a portion of a, an arc is created which is tangential to the two lines here. Let's go ahead and apply a chamfer here. So two lines are created and then I'm uh, applying a chamfer. So if you go for chamfer and select the two lines just like before, here you have uh, some different set of options. You can see the first la first length and second length and etc. If you press the tab key you have the option to get into this. So I'll give a 300 and 400. So I guess that's a little, a little too much maybe 200. So yeah, gives you the option. So you can see that it's 200 chamfer here and 300 chamfer here. So that's the uh, benefits of uh, using sketch tools. So now for example, when you are uh, working with different sketches of uh, objects, you generally need to you will have to you will come across lines which are bisecting so in this case these lines are bisecting so there are two different ways you can uh, go ahead and do the trimming one is the quick trim which is very very comfortable so you just click and double click the quick trim and just click on the portion which you don't want and there is another option which is called as extend. You could go here and click and click here. So this is uh, this tool is mainly very useful, uh, especially when you are uh, working on uh, a set of you. You will come to know where you need to use this tool once you get into the uh, companies. So sometimes you, it's very comfortable to use the trim option than the quick trim. So let's uh, go ahead and see the next, next option, that's the symmetry and the mirror. So that's another set of options which is very helpful. So let's first create an object. So don't, don't care about the shape of this object. And I create an axis. Firstly what you need to do is select the lines which you need for the mirroring command and go for the mirror and select the axis and you will get it so so good part is if you extend it's going to extend so it's very responsive and the other option about the axis is that uh, and we'll select the whole line here set of lines and we'll just go for a symmetry so what happens in symmetry is that the parent is deleted and there is no constraints being applied it just goes to the other side so that's about the operations toolbar these are the main tools which are being used when it comes to the operations toolbar and uh, there are a couple of options where uh, this option could be explained only if uh, you start doing the part design workbench. So let's see what comes next in our tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.